Hey everybody, it's Erica coming at you with a small Walmart haul. So today I did get some deals. I was actually just going there to get some items, just a couple things, and you know how that goes. But um, <clears throat> Father's Day is coming up this weekend, and I wanted to make sure that my daughter had some construction paper so that she could make my husband or, you know, my husband a cute card. So I picked her up some of that. And I am going to be getting a Vitamix, uh, should be here hopefully today. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> anyways, I got some items to make ice cream. So my daughter doesn't like smoothies, believe it or not, but she does like ice cream, of course. So I did buy some items. I did have a couple different recipes off of uh, Pinterest, but... Um, if anybody has any basic um, recipes, feel free to leave them in the comments. But I got some of this baking cocoa. <clears throat> this coconut extract is actually for a pina colada um, smoothie that I like. Um, I got some pure vanilla because my other vanilla is actually almost dead. I got some heavy whipping cream, some pepperoni, I think if I didn't already mention that. I got my favorite Boathouse Classic Ranch. I got a vitamin D whole milk. Again, this is, uh, I'm just having this on hand just in case um, for ice cream. And then I got this instant non-fat dry milk because there's another recipe that requires that. And then I got the regular 1%, which is for my husband and daughter that they normally drink. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, my husband likes these uh, energy drinks. This particular brand is quite expensive, but he liked it the other day. And I thought I'd, you know, splurge and get him um, some for next week. So I got him a, I got him five all for next week. I got some of these Lily Milk Chocolate style baking chips, and this is for snacking, and it's also for um, maybe including in the ice cream that I make for her, just to have something like, you know, chocolate chips. If I make a vanilla, you know, it would be nice to have that. Um, I like the Lilies because they are lower in calories. They're low, lower in carbohydrates. They have um, lower sugar. Excuse my dog. Sorry about that. I had to get, figure out what my dog was barking at. All right. So I got two of these cheese pizzas, the five cheese pizzas for two fifty five dollars each. And I am probably going to include in this video how we cook our pizza. I know that sounds so silly, but we actually use a pizza pizzazz, which I swear by it. I think that a pizza pizzazz is the way to go unless you have, you know, some other kind of pizza oven, but it really cooks everything very evenly. And we love how it cooks our pizza because we like it crisp. So I will include in the video just what it looks like. Um, you know, obviously I'm not sponsored or anything like that. I wish I was, but um, it's just a gadget that we've purchased. Um, I've only, I've had two of them, I think, in my, um, in the past like 15 years. And so I think the one I have currently, I've had for probably most of our, for about the past 10 years. So anyways, I will include that in this video, but I appreciate you stopping by. Please check out my other videos. I will have some more hauls coming up. I have a Walmart pickup haul that I haven't posted yet and I need to, it was um, pretty big. So I will include that um, in a grocery haul, probably for this weekend, because I probably will not be going to the grocery um, anymore this week. So, but anyways, that's what I have. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Hey everybody, so it's Erica. I just wanted to give you kind of an idea of what the pizza pizzazz is all about. So this is how we cook our pizza typically. But I really would like to have two of these because you know, you can definitely at least cook them both at the same time. This way we have to kind of wait while one's cooking and then the other blah, blah, blah. But um, first I just put the pizza down. I did add some pepperoni because this is my daughter's and it's on a tray. 
This is already plugged in. So I'm trying to kind of line it up with there. Once you're lined it up with this like little thing that sticks up, that's what rotates the pizza around. Um, I went ahead and set it on my time. I want to cook this for 20 minutes. You can choose to cook it on the lower, upper, or dual. I'm going to do dual because, you know, I want to cook both sides. But say if this got done, finished cooking and I wanted to say get the crust a little bit crisper or more crispy, I would go ahead and use the dogs. Um, we're barking at the Amazon guy. So anyways, um, this is while it's rotating, um, it's getting cooked. I have it set for like almost 20 minutes. So I'll let you see what it looks like when it's done. So I wanted to kind of show you, this is almost completely finished, but it's not. I just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like while it's still baking. Still got a couple minutes left, um, as you can see up here. And um, it's crisped up the top. I will show you the final product because um, I don't want to burn myself right now, but um, it does a really great job. So like in 20 minutes, you get an evenly cooked um, pizza. All right, guys, this, um, I think I should have probably added more cheese, uh, but this is what the crust looks like. This is what my daughter likes. It's actually cooked pretty well. It's very crusty. And yeah, so that's the pizza pizzazz. I think you can you can still order these on Amazon. If I can find them, I'll add them to the, my description link. But um, you know, there's also other things out there that obviously have come out since this has been on the market. Um, but this is something I've had for, like I said, almost 10 years. I've been using these things for like almost 15 years since they came out. So. Just wanted to give you guys an idea of how they work and what we enjoy using at home um, instead of just using the basic oven. So I hope you guys have a nice, nice day. Thank you guys for joining. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, and one last thing. I wanted to show you our pizza, the adults. Um, I put some pepperoni. I put a little bit of bacon. I kind of ran it through the garden. Well, my what I had in the fridge which I had some yellow peppers, some regular onion, and some mushroom. And I added some extra cheese. So that's what we did with our $2.55 um, take and bake from Walmart. Thank you so much again. Bye.